Hey guys, Alex here, and in today's video, I want to show you some amazing Samsung Galaxy quality of life settings that everybody needs to change on their phone just to make using your phone a better experience. Now, we got a lot to cover, so let's not waste any time and get right into the video. All right, guys, now the very first quality of life setting that you need to enable is the ability to snooze your notifications. So if you ever get a notification and you just don't have time to get to it right now, Instead of swiping it away or just leaving it here and forgetting about it, what you can do is enable notification snoozing that will give you this little snooze button right here and you can snooze your notification for a certain amount of time and be reminded about it later when you actually have time to tend to it. So maybe I'll be home in 30 minutes, I can set 30 minutes, hit save and you can see the notification goes away and I'll be reminded about it in 30 minutes. Now to enable this feature, all you need to do is just go into your phone settings, swipe down to notifications, tap advanced settings and right there you'll see an option that says show snooze button. Now this is disabled by default, so go ahead and enable it and now you'll be able to snooze those notifications. Now this next quality of life setting is going to make your phone calls less distracting. So anytime you're using your phone and you're browsing around the web or you're on social media, if you get a phone call, that call screen will take over your whole entire screen and just distract you from whatever you were doing. But there's a really cool setting that you can change to make this less distracting. And all you need to do is go to your phone app, select the three dots up here, go to settings, and right here where it says call display while using apps, change it from full screen to small pop-up or what I like to do is set it to mini pop-up to make it as small as possible. And make sure you enable this toggle that says keep calls in pop-up so that when you actually answer the phone call, it will keep it in that small window and not distract you from whatever you were doing. Now, while we're on the topic of phone calls, the next setting you need to enable is the ability to make your phone suppress all of the background noises when you are on a call so that the person who is talking to you is not gonna hear all of those background sounds and just hear your voice. Now, to enable this feature, you do need to be on a phone call. So next time while you're on a call, just swipe down twice from the top of your phone and you'll see an option here for mic mode. Tap into it and you'll see that by default it's set to standard, but go ahead and change it to voice focus. And now your phone is going to identify any background noises going on around you and suppress those levels and only focus on your voice. And this is just going to improve your phone conversation so that if you're in a loud environment, the person you're talking to isn't going to constantly ask you to repeat yourself or just be annoyed by all of the noises going on around you. All right, guys, for this next quality of life setting, we're going to go into our phone settings, swipe down to notifications, go to advanced settings. And right here at the bottom, you'll see something called manage notification categories for each app. This is disabled by default, but I highly suggest you enable this because it is going to make your life so much better. And essentially what this does is allow you to manage the notification categories on an app by app basis. So to show you what this looks like, we're going to pick any app on our phone. Let's use Instagram as an example, long press on it hit on the little eye icon up here, go to notifications and then select notification categories. And from here, you can see we have an individual toggle for every single type of notification on our Instagram app. And we can go through here and disable any notifications that we don't care about, like likes or reminders, and only leave enabled the ones that we actually do care about, like when somebody sends us a DM or leaves us a comment. And the best part about this is you can do this on any app on your phone, whether it's TikTok, Reddit, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, doesn't matter. You can manage the notification categories on all of these apps. This is by far one of my favorite Samsung Galaxy features that no other phone provides and it just makes your notifications so much more streamlined and definitely makes the quality of life experience on your phone much better. So definitely go ahead and set this up. All right, so you know how sometimes you'll be using your phone and when you're done using it, you obviously go to lock it, but then you remember, oh, whoops, I forgot to do something and you need to go back into there and now you need to authenticate into your phone again, put your fingerprint, pin or password to get back in. But there's a cool setting that will actually keep your phone unlocked for a couple of seconds after you hit this lock button so that you can get back into your phone even faster. And to do this, we want to go to our phone settings, scroll down to lock screen and always on display, tap on secure lock settings. And right here where it says auto lock when screen turns off, you can see it's set to immediately, but if you want, you can change this to five seconds, 15, 30 seconds, a minute, all the way up to 30 minutes. And now your phone will stay unlocked for a little bit after you lock it so that you can quickly get back into it if you need to. Now, one annoying thing that happens on phones is when you are looking at a picture or reading a long article, if you are not tapping on the screen or scrolling, your phone will dim and auto lock on you to save battery life. So while you're reading, you have to constantly keep tapping on your screen every couple of seconds to keep it awake. But there's a really cool setting that you can change to fix this issue. And what you wanna do is go into settings, select display, and go down to where it says screen timeout right here. Now mine is set to five minutes just because I'm shooting these videos and I don't want my phone constantly dimming on me, but you wanna keep this between 15 and 30 seconds just so that you're not burning battery life all the time. 
But what you can do is go down here and enable this toggle that says keep screen on while viewing and now your phone will do just that. As long as you are looking at the screen, your phone will not dim on you because it will use the front facing camera to see that you are actually looking at the phone and now it will stay on and won't lock on you. Now this next quality of life setting is one that I've already talked about before but it is such an awesome setting that I definitely want to mention it in this video as well. But it is to have the ability to have your phone announce the name of the person calling you and then give you the option to answer or reject the call using your voice. So if you're washing the dishes or you're gardening and your hands are busy or you don't want to pick up your phone, you can use your voice to answer or reject the call. Definitely a really cool feature. And to set it up, there's two things that we need to do. First, we're going to go into our phone app, tap on the three dots, go to settings and swipe down until you see answering and ending calls. Tap into here and where it says read caller names aloud, go ahead and enable this feature and make sure to set it to always. And down here, you can also enable this feature that will read the name twice in case you missed it the first time. But next, what we're going to do is go into our phone and look for the Bixby app. Now, this should be installed on all Samsung phones by default, but if you don't have it, go ahead and get it from the Galaxy Store. But once you have it, just long press on the Bixby app, go to Bixby settings, and right there, you'll see an option that says talk to Bixby without wake up. Again, go ahead and enable this feature, and now you're going to be able to answer or reject the phone call by just saying answer phone or reject phone call. We can also manage our alarms and timers using our voice as well. But that's pretty much it. You're all set up. Now, anytime you get a call on your phone, it will announce the name of the person calling you and give you the option to use your voice to answer or reject the call. Definitely a really cool quality of life setting. I suggest you go ahead and enable. Now, the next quality of life setting has to do with improving the fingerprint scanner on our Galaxy phones. Now, this is an ultrasonic fingerprint scanner. It is one of the best in the game, but I still hear sometimes people complaining that it might take two, maybe three attempts sometimes to unlock your phone. So I'm gonna show you how to make it better so that it works every single time. And what we're gonna do is go into our phone settings, swipe down to security and privacy, go to screen lock and biometrics, tap fingerprints. And up here you can see we have our fingerprint profiles. Now on Galaxy phones, we can add up to four fingerprints. So what I suggest you do is add your main fingerprint once and then tap add fingerprint and add the same finger again. So if you use your right thumb to unlock your phone most of the time, which a lot of us do if we're right-handed, just go ahead and scan your thumb again. And now what's gonna happen is your phone is going to have two profiles of the same finger and it will make much less mistakes and recognize your finger much easier anytime you're using your thumb to unlock your phone. So just go through this whole setup process, move your thumb around in a whole bunch of different ways, and now your phone is going to have much more data to work with with that main fingerprint, and it should have less errors when unlocking your phone. All right, now this happens to all of us. When we get a notification on our phone, by the time we take it out of our pocket or go to the kitchen counter to pick up our phone and look at our phone, the notification disappears and we missed what that notification was. But on your Galaxy phone, you can change how long that notification will stay in the pop-up view to give you more time just to read it. So to enable this, we're gonna go into settings, swipe all the way down to accessibility, go to advanced settings, and right here where it says time to take action, change it from default to whatever you want. So if you want it to be 10 seconds, 30 seconds, one or two minutes, you can go ahead and select that and that's how long notifications will stay on your screen, giving you more time to read them. Now for this last quality of life setting, this is something that's built into Galaxy phones and is insanely powerful and just not enough people use it. So I'm gonna tell you all about it and it is the ability to create routines. So if we go into our phone settings, scroll down to modes and routines and tap on the routines tab right here, in here, we can create custom routines to make our phone do things automatically. And to show you some routines that I've already set up, you can see I have this home one that says, if I come home and my phone connects to my Wi-Fi, it will keep my phone unlocked. So now every time I'm at home, I'm in a safe place. I don't need my phone locking on me. It will just stay unlocked and that way I can access all of my stuff faster. I also have another routine here called night charge. And what this will do is if it is between 12 a.m. and 7 a.m., which is when I'm typically sleeping, if the charging status is not charging, so if I forgot to plug my phone into charge, which happens to all of us, then my phone will automatically go into power saving mode to save me as much battery as possible over the night so that when I wake up in the morning, my phone isn't completely dead. And these are just very simple routines. Your phone can do a lot of really crazy stuff with routines. You can see if we go in here, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here that you can set up and it can get really powerful, especially if you have smart home devices. There's a lot of really cool stuff you can set up. And if you guys want me to make a full routines video, definitely let me know in the comments below and I'll make one for you. But that's gonna do it for this video of some of the quality of life settings I suggest everybody enable on their Samsung Galaxy phones just to make their phones better and give you a better experience while using them. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe for future videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one.
Peace.